G'day guys, welcome back to Kassar Industries. Hope everyone is doing well. So today is officially the first day of my holidays. <laughs> so uh, I actually decided to leave a day later because I really want to finish the exhaust on this car before I go. Uh, it should only, and there was a bunch of other stuff I needed to tidy up as well and finish off. Doing the rest of the exhaust on this should only take a couple of hours. So I just thought, you know what, I want to knock it out. Because uh, that burnout event that is on the day after I get back from my leave um, I really wanted to have the exhaust on on this thing before we go. So that's why I'm going to do it So I got all mate here finishing off a here. He is. Oh, no, he's gone He's gone. He doesn't care. He's so rude He doesn't care about you guys. He doesn't care about you like I do just No, he doesn't care He's in his own world. Anyway, so we're gonna get into this. So um, I'll basically go through and show you what we are doing. All right, so as you saw in the last video, we got the stainless extractors on, uh, did the two and a half inch uh, front pipes into a three inch collector and three inch flex. So what I wanna do is probably just uh, cut this off from here and reuse that flange and just go single three inch from there back. Again, as I said in the last video, three inch is probably a bit big for a stock eco. Uh, but that's what I've got, so it's what I'm going to use and helps with future proofing some stuff for down the track. So that's basically the plan. Uh, as for mufflers and stuff, basically all we're going to be using is no mufflers. We're going to be using a hot dog. Uh, so three inch straight through hot dog and a three inch straight through resonator. Hot dogs and resonators do quieten down a little bit, but ideally you want a muffler if you want to cut down sound significantly. So being the car that we're going to be using it for, we do want to have a bit of noise, but we don't want it stupidly headachely loud um, being the largest range diameter pipe will make it a bit louder uh, hot dogs come in short length medium length and long length this is a long length i have medium and long in stock but we're going to put a long one because we're not going to do, be doing a muffler as such and then resonators come small body and big body i've got a small body in stock so that's what we're going to use uh, that's stainless that's mild steel um, and this uh, extractors are stainless as well so it is probably going to have a bit of a raspy sound to it but it's not going to sound quite so anyway how's it going to sound not really sure but let's just go through and knock this out and we'll find out together cool old one is off so yeah that's all whatever uh so i've just chopped it off here at that three inch section there put the flange back on so now we can start sort of making stuff up just laying stuff in bit of pipe, bit of bend, all that stuff. And just sort of see how it all goes. I'm just gonna smash through this pretty quickly. But yeah, I'll just give you updates as we go. All right, he made a bit of progress. So I've got the hot dog welded pretty much straight onto the back of the flex there. So that's all welded on. And I've just made up this section of pipe here with some straight, and a couple of three inch 45 mandrels. So that basically takes us up to right about here. So that's where we're up to. So then the resi will go on there, a little bit of pipe out the back, and then sort out the hangers and stuff. So yeah, it's all going together pretty quickly. Be interesting to see how this thing sounds. All right, so it's all on. Some of it's tacked, some of it's fully welded. Just got one mount on the back here. A couple of 45 degree bends. We modified the original mount off the center muffler, sort of like that to hang the pipe. And then we've got the resi there. And then Jason came up with a beautiful idea of using an offcut of three inch pipe to do a second dummy exhaust out the back. So um, anyway, it is what it is. So she's nice and secure. So we'll just pull it all off now, final weld everything, paint it black, put it back, hit the track. All right guys, there we have it. Full custom made exhaust. She's all on. So that's the finished product. I know what you're wondering. How does it sound? Is it gonna sound like farts? Is it gonna sound okay? Is it gonna sound tinny? Well, let's find out.
there you have it guys uh, full exhaust on this is done oh what do you think of the plates by the way the little novelty plates let's just hope it does <laughs> So yeah, that's the exhaust done on this thing. I'm really glad I was able to knock that out before I go away. So the next time you will see this and now hear it, it will actually be on the skid pad. So join us for the next episode of this, where we go and have some fun and put all of our hard work to the test. Thanks always for watching, guys. Take it easy, be good, and we'll see you soon.